Here, we'll have a look at how changes in temperature affect the solubility of a compound. How temperature affects the solubility of a compound depends on whether dissolving the compound is endothermic or exothermic. We'll do a couple of examples to illustrate this. Barium sulfate, BASO4, is known to dissolve endothermically in water. Its solubility equilibrium equation can be written like this, with a solid BASO4 on the left and the dissolved ions on the right. And because it's endothermic and heat is being consumed, the heat term is written on the left side of the arrow. When the temperature of a system is increased, it means heat is added to this endothermic system. According to Le Chatelier's principle, the system can compensate for the added heat by shifting away from the heat term in order to use up the excess heat. In this case, the heat term is on the left, so it causes a shift to the right, which occurs like this. We see that as a result of shifting to the right, the concentrations of the dissolved ions have increased, and the mass of the solid BASO4 present has decreased. So because a shift to the right caused the mass of the solid to decrease and the concentration of dissolved ions to increase, we can say that as a result of shifting to the right, the solubility of BASO4 has increased. So we can summarize by saying that increasing the temperature of a solution of a compound that dissolves endothermically causes the solubility equilibrium to shift to the right which increases the solubility of the solid compound. It should be easy to see now that if we were to decrease the temperature of this endothermic system, it would mean that we are removing heat from the system. In order to compensate for the loss of heat, the Chatelier's principle would predict that the equilibrium would shift to the left in order to produce more heat. A shift to the left would increase the mass of the undissolved solid and decrease the concentrations of the dissolved ions. In other words, a shift to the left causes the solubility to decrease. So we can summarize by saying that decreasing the temperature of a solution of a compound that dissolves endothermically causes a shift to the left, which decreases the solubility of the solid compound. Now let's consider a compound that dissolves exothermically. It is known that calcium acetate CaCH3COO2 dissolves exothermically. So its solubility equilibrium equation can be written like this, with the solid on the left, the dissolved ions on the right, and the heat term on the right. Let's see what happens when we increase the temperature of a saturated solution of calcium acetate. Increasing the temperature means we're adding heat to the system. According to Le Chatelier's principle, this will cause the equilibrium to shift to the left in order to use up some of the excess heat. A shift to the left occurs like this. We can see that as a result of the shift to the left, the concentrations of the dissolved ions have decreased and the mass of the solid calcium acetate in the container has increased. Because there is more solid and less dissolved ions, we can say that the solubility of calcium acetate has decreased. So we can summarize by saying that increasing the temperature of a solution of a compound that dissolves exothermically, which means adding heat to it, causes the solubility equilibrium to shift to the left, which decreases the solubility. Now if we take a saturated solution of calcium acetate, a compound which dissolves exothermically, and we decrease the temperature, it means we are removing heat from the system. This will cause the equilibrium to shift to the right, giving us this. As a result of shifting to the right, we can see that the concentrations of the dissolved ions have increased, and the mass of the solid has decreased, so more of it has dissolved. Because there is less solid and more dissolved ions, the solubility of calcium acetate has increased. So to summarize, if a compound dissolves exothermically and the temperature is increased, the equilibrium will shift to the left. 
and the solubility will decrease. And if a compound dissolves exothermically and the temperatures decrease, the solubility equilibrium will shift to the right and the solubility will increase.